Hey guys, I know this is late, but I finally saw The Hunt for the Wilder People, and this movie was very funny. It was basically a New Zealand version of an Edgar Wright film. The quirkiness, the serious yet comedical overtones, and the characters, and the sporadic silliness as well as the maturity of it, really reminded me of basically an Edgar Wright film. And also, oddly enough, without a paddle but way better. The film follows a young boy who has constantly been going back and forth between different uh, different foster homes, and he finally finds a home that he likes with, uh, with Sam Neill and his wife. Sam Neill doesn't really like him at first, but it's the wife who does, but then she passes, and then these two are kind of have to... They try to reconcile, but it doesn't really work, so the kid tries to run off, Sam Neill goes after him, and then they go off on this very merry adventure, hiding out in the bush for several months. And it's funny. There's a lot of interesting moments, there's a lot of really kind of comedical tones that in certain situations that you wouldn't really think it they're funny and how they transpire for instance they come across these hunters and then how the boy describes how he's been hanging out and helping sam neil it sounds makes him sound like he's a pervert so there's those moments there's all these kind of talking the conversations between sam neil and the kid are phenomenal the chemistry between these two is hilarious the kid is phenomenal I already said that, but he is. He's really good. He really embellishes this character who's kind of rebellious, but he's actually trying to more so bring out his artistic side. He's trying to kind of... He wants to be this thug. He wants to be this caricature of what he believes criminality is, when in reality he's just living out as being a kid. He's taking it a little bit one step further. Sam Neill's phenomenal. He looks like a uneducated... A grubby version of uh, Dr. Grant, and I really liked him in this movie. It's a long time since I've seen Sam Neill in something that I thought he was really good in, and really everything about this movie works. There are some, there's a few parts that I think the padding could have been a little bit tighter, and there are some predictability to it, like a lot of predictability in all honesty, but the film as itself is a funny little adventure with a father, or sorry, a, an adopted father and an adopted son living together and kind of coming to terms with each other. And there are some parts that I actually didn't expect to happen. There's a few moments between the kid and Sam Neill that I thought was like, oh, wow, I didn't expect them to do that. But in the end, I did enjoy this film. I think it's a really, it's a phenomenally made New Zealand film. I wish I had seen it in theaters because I would have been laughing to this out in the theater. So in the end, I'm going to give The Hunt for the Wilder People a 6 out of 7. It's an exceptional film. It's very well made. It takes a lot of influences, like I said, from Edgar Wright films. But it does a little bit of its own work. And I think the director, writer, had a really good vision. And he stuck to it. And everyone worked out well. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time.